Hi, I'm Francine here with Frontiers Canada. Today I'll walk you through how to connect several SNAP inverters to the Data Manager 2.0 card. The Daisy Chain Loop is a network topology that allows one Data Manager 2.0 to collect data from several inverters connected in the same loop. The connection is done by shielded CAT5 cables or any generation after the CAT5 but it is important to use shielded cables. There are two restrictions to the length of your daisy chain loop. One is that it cannot exceed 100 inverters. The other restriction is the overall line length in the daisy chain loop must not exceed 1000 meters, which also includes the distance between the data manager 2.0 and the internet router. Please look at the DATCOM area of the SNAP inverter. On the left hand side, there is the in and the out SolarNet connection socket. When linking several inverters in the daisy chain loop, please connect the Fronius SolarNet in connection socket of the first inverter with a termination plug. The out of the same inverter should be connected to the in of the next inverter. If this is the last inverter in the daisy chain loop, the out should have a termination plug. In this example, we have two inverters in the daisy chain loop. Please follow the logic for several inverters connected in the same daisy chain loop. Now let's take a look at the Data Manager 2.0. The Data Manager 2.0 has four LED lights. The X indicates either an interrupted or complete daisy chain loop. Please see in this example, if I remove the termination plug, the LED is red and showing that the daisy chain loop is not completed. Therefore, the Wi-Fi access point is not available and the data cannot be collected from the inverters. If the daisy chain loop is complete, then the X LED light will be green. A complete daisy chain loop allows you to open the Wi-Fi access point And you're good to go. Thanks for watching.